What's going on guys? Back with my latest video today. I just want to show you guys some of the most recent pickups that I got from the last couple of weeks. It's been a while, but I did get a few new Funko Pops I want to show off to you guys. So without further ado, let's get right into it. See what I got. Here we go. Alright guys, before we get into this video, please smash that like button down below. Let me know you guys are enjoying these videos, and as always, if you're new to this channel, welcome, hit subscribe button down below as well, so you're updated to my most recent content. Hit that bell notification so you're alerted as I post a new video. So like I said, I got some new pickups. It's been a few, I think, weeks since I've done, uh, showed you guys my most recent pickups. I've been caught up with other things, actually got my wisdom teeth pulled. Um, so it's been hard to talk, and um, just wanted to show you guys what I've gotten recently in the mail. So I know I did a post maybe two weeks ago on my Instagram. If you follow me, if you don't, make sure you follow me there at the Pop Savage. But I put a post out on at Target and I asked you guys what pop out of that um, set or collection, whatever you want to call it, inventory, did you think I got? Most people got it wrong. I think only got, like two people got it right. Uh, but this is a pop I've had my eye on for a while and I just wanted to add to my collection and the pop I actually got from that inventory was Bianca Belair from WWE so I haven't watched WWE as much as I used to um, I definitely still follow it I know you know like who the champs are and stuff uh, but Bianca Belair definitely a fan of had to grab this one um, I try to get you know as many WWE pops um, of people I like as I as I can it's one of those underrated things you guys ask me what I collect a lot I actually have a lot more WWE pops than um, I even uh, know. It's not something I display, really, but I do try to get the ones I like, at least. They also had an Alexa Bliss there that I may circle back around to and get. Um, the other one, I think, is getting pretty pricey. I think it's one I keep even suggested on Speculation Saturdays. But Bianca Belair, very, very cool one. Had to grab this one. Um, you know, I definitely see big things in her future. I think this is a really good one to pick up. And I just think it looks cool. You know, I think the WWE pops of all the people pops look pretty well done just because uh, I think they're in their, like, I guess, you know, outfits or costumes, whatever you want to call them. And uh, it stands out a little bit more outside the box. You know exactly who it is. So had to pick this one up. This is the uh, winner for me from that Target run and uh, just had to have it in the collection. And like I said, I might circle back, get that Alexa Bliss. I think that one looks pretty dope as well. But for now, Bianca is going to be uh, the pick. So up next is a pop I got from um, one of my Speculation Saturdays videos. I didn't have in the collection. Now circle back and got it. Um, shout out to you know, you know who I bought this from on Whatnot. If you want to purchase uh, this pop on Whatnot, it's still available out there. If you're new to this platform, there is a link in the description box below. Where you can get ten dollars off your first free order, and that makes this pop very, very affordable. Maybe even free. Um, that's Baron Zemo. So if you didn't see that Speculation Saturdays video, I think it was two weeks ago, make sure you go check that one out. Very cool looking pop. Um, you know, definitely in that video, I give my reasoning on why I picked this one up. Um, I just think in general, it's a cool looking pop. To me so far, um, I don't want to know your opinion down in the comment section below, but Falcon and the Winter Soldier was the best Disney Plus series so far. Haven't started Miss Marvel yet, um, but as far as the Marvel series are concerned, I like this one the best, which is kind of strange because I'm not a Captain America fan. So um, liking this show was pretty um, surprising for me. And uh, I just want to know what you guys think in the comment section below. What was your favorite Marvel uh, Disney Plus series so far? But Baron Zemo was a really interesting character. I think it was not the last we've seen of him, which I explained in the other video. And uh, just a cool pop in general and one I wanted to add to the collection. And then last but not least, I did a little bit of a chase roulette. I ordered uh, from Funko Shop. I'm sure you guys have seen plenty of people already do their chase roulette for this pop, but I haven't done mine yet, so I want to see if I got uh, the chase. And we got the uh, Brook from One Piece pop. So I'm going to open this up. I'm going to pick the first one out, see if we got the chase. Um, I don't know the difference. I think it was a metallic was the chase. If you remember, drop them in the comment section below. Um, but hopefully we get one because I definitely um, had the old school one, the or not old school one, but the New York City Comic Con one, and that one just kind of skyrocketed out of value uh, in value. I don't have it anymore. I haven't watched One Piece yet, but it's one of my animes on my list of things to watch. Currently in the middle of watching uh, Naruto Shippuden. Just finished regular Naruto, so hoping to eventually get around to One Piece. And this is a pop I needed to have in the collection because I know. Uh, if I don't get the animes I have planned to watch, by the time I get around to them, they're going to skyrocket in value. So, let's see if this first one is the chase. It is not, but still a cool pop. You know, this is the Samurai Brook. Uh, like I said, 
uh, the Chase, uh, this one sold out pretty quickly as far as uh, on Funko Shop. I, I don't know what values on these are going for. I don't know how much more expensive the Chase is than the regular one. Um, obviously, I know it's going to be more. Um, definitely a pop I can see Funko redoing just because I know there probably was a lot of canceled orders. And, uh, you know, just in general, it's a popular pop, so I'm sure they have more out there. Maybe they're going to save that inventory for in-store, but um, it's just a really cool pop. Uh, like I said, I haven't watched One Piece yet. It's kind of intimidating for me because there's so many episodes and still ongoing. Um, but definitely one of those, those uh, animes people have told me nothing but good things about. So definitely will circle back at some point and watch it. Uh, but the Samurai Brook, the colors on it, the look of the pop, uh, just in general, is very, very dope. Nothing wrong to say about the common. Uh, I still think it's a very dope pop, a very collectible pop. And, uh, you know, it's a Funko Shop exclusive anime pop. I mean, I just think that is a, a must-have for the collection for anime, any anime collector. So, there you go. The first one is unfortunately a common. Let's see if we can get lucky with this second one down here. Hit the like button for some good luck, guys. And we have another common. Okay. So, now I'm hoping for that restock because I need to get this chasing the collection. I don't know if I feel like paying outright for the um, for the chase. Definitely would rather try my luck and get it for retail. Um, retail these were I guess 15 bucks. I mean correct me if I'm wrong but uh, $15 plus shipping. Um, you know definitely more affordable than I think the chase is going for. So uh, very cool pop. You know unfortunately we got two commons but um, like I said this is a really dope pop. Not anything I can complain about and uh, I think it's a pretty nice collective piece just because I think it's a dope anime. Uh, looking pop. So there you guys go. Those are the two Oh, those are pops. I picked up this week. Like I said, I have other things incoming So I'll definitely show you guys as um, those when they come in and I got a lot of comic and Pokemon stuff coming in as well So if you're interested in that kind of thing check out my second channel uh, Savage breaks where I do Pokemon sport cards and comic books I got a lot a lot of really cool things coming in for that if that's something you're interested in like I said, got a lot of stuff uh, fun planned for you guys. I have a really cool Speculation Saturdays planned for this week and also a giveaway. So make sure you stay tuned for that. As always, like, comment, share, subscribe if you're new. Like I said before, if you're interested in getting $10 off your first order on Whatnot, there's a link in the description box below that can make some of these pops that I showed in this video very, very affordable. So thanks again for watching, guys. I really appreciate the support you give me as always. Till next time, see you later.